Hello friends, this video on hydrogen part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's discuss the metallic or interstitial hydrides. So these hydrides, the ratio of metal and hydrogen, the ratio is not fixed. The ratio of metal and hydrides are not fixed. It is fractional actually. It is not fixed, it is fractional and it varies based on temperature and pressure. And they are generally D and F block elements. They are D and F block elements. Right? And in this hydrogen occupy hole in the metal lattice. So you can see this. So if you see, these are the binary compounds of hydrogen transition metals. Transition metals, D and F block. For example, SCH2, YH2, LAH3, CRH3, TIH2. And here if you see most of the case, it is a bit fractional also. For example, sometimes it is PIH1.8 like that. We will we'll see more on this and if you see as I told these in these hydrides hydrogen occupies interstitial position. So if you want to visualize this think of it as a sponge this guy SAH2 and sponge is holes in this right in these holes hydrogen occupies space and this is uh, something which is used to store uh, hydrogens now a lot of research is going on on this um, potential of the interstitial hydrides to store hydrogen. So if you see like this, this is my uh, interstitial hydrides and there we have space right in this space all these hydrogen molecules set because as I told that all the H plus ions very small in size right. So it is so small that we leverage this uh, feature of H plus ion to store in these hydrides. And it has proven that if this is the size of weaker in this you put hydrogen, the same hydrogen can be uh, stored in this much amount of uh, uh, metallic hydrides, right? You see the comparison size, right? That's a big beaker. It stores some hydrogen. The same hydrogen can be stored in this small amount of uh, metallic hydrides. And the research is going on for this, right? So, and also this property of absorption of hydrogen is also used uh, in catalytic reduction and hydrogenation process because in the hydration process we need to provide hydrogen so there this is used a lot and also in the fuel uh, in the cell where we are talking about using hydrogen as the uh, replacement for coal and petroleum right and uh, some metals for example PD and PT they can store a large volume of hydrogen and they are also used as storage media as I explained that uh, for storing hydrogen so that it can be used as fuel in the cars. So, as I told, this has a huge potential of hydrogen storage as source of energy. And as I have told, it is not fixed, it is fraction. For example, PDH, if you see, the value is from 0 0.6 to 0 0.8. So, they are also called non stoichiometric hydrides. Why? Because the ratio of uh, hydrogen in the metal is not uh, what you call uh, whole number or national number, it is fractional. It is fractional and also it varies based on temperature. If you increase the temperature, you increase the pressure, uh, these uh, values may change. Correct. Let's uh, take some uh, characteristic of metallic or interstitial hydride. The first one is they are generally powder or brittle solids and they have dark metal uh, appearance. So they are like sand actually. So you can uh, visualize sand, the same similar structure has uh, is for the metallic hydrides and they are good conductors of electricity why because uh, the H plus ions are trapped so they conduct electricity and the conductivity decreases with increasing temperature because the moment you increase the temperature the H plus ions goes off and it, the conductivity decreases and it, it is high it has high thermal conductivity and most of these uh, hydrides are harder than the apparent metal for example you have a parent metal you create hydride and this hydride will be harder than the parent metal and they undergo reversible decomposition of H2 gas metal so on releasing on heating these uh, uh, they release hydrogen in, in atomic state and that's why they are used as a storage because you heat the particular hydride it will release hydrogen and then you can again uh, pump in the hydrogen in the empty space again you heat it to release hydrogen and the release hydrogen can be used as fuel in the car Right, and there is no chemical reaction between the metal and the hydrogen in this kind of hydrides. There is no chemical reaction as such. It is just that in the metal, the hydrides are stored in the trap. They are trapped actually. There is no reaction as such. 
it is more like a sponge where metal acts as a sponge and the hydrogen goes and sits inside the sponge and it is hydride but there is no chemical reaction please note there is no true chemical reaction as such between the metal and hydride in the other two scenarios we have seen the covalent and ionic hydrides they are actually the metal is the non-metal reacts with hydrogen in this case the metal doesn't does not react with hydrogen metal acts as a sponge it has an interstitial space hydrogen just go and sits there since any number of hydrogen can sit there so it is not stoichiometric also it, the the ratio of hydrogen in the metal is not uh, what you call whole number national number it is fractal also sometimes so when you heat this the hydrogen goes off thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again